Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and in this video I'm going to show you how you can save some serious time with an app called Rocket Typist. Okay, so I'm just going to share with you a really quick tip today. I just wanted to share with you an app that I've been using for probably almost a year now and it has saved me a ton of time. Now there's a little bit of a disclaimer here. This app is unfortunately only for a Mac. So if you don't have a Mac, this uh, won't really apply to you. However, there are a lot of other alternatives that are similar to what Rocket Typist does, uh, even on a Mac. So the reason I decided to, to actually use Rocket Typist is because it seemed to be the cleanest, uh, the best user interface. Plus it syncs with things like iCloud. So it works across multiple devices but it ended up being the best solution for me. Now, what you may be wondering now is, okay, so what is Rocket Typist? Most of us spend a considerable amount of our day, particularly if you're running an online business, typing, right? So maybe there's emails that we're constantly trying to get through. I run a software company, so I pitch in from time to time with support requests. So if you have emails that you find yourself writing over and over again, or if you find proposals or documents or large paragraphs of text in which you find yourself writing over and over again, you may be wasting a lot of time that you could save with something like Rocket Typist. There's actually an acronym in coding called dry and dry stands for don't repeat yourself because if you're repeating yourself you're wasting a lot of time that you could be saving through uh, simplifying what you're doing or finding some sort of automated way to uh, achieve that solution okay so rather than going through and spending a whole bunch more time explaining what rock is, rocket typist is let's go ahead and just take a quick look and i'll show you some quick examples of how it can start saving you some serious time so let's go ahead and take a look okay so what rocket typist is going to give us is a nice little icon up here where we will be able to click on something that says snippet editor and within snippet editor you're going to be able to see a wide range of examples now what rocket typist is going to enable you to do is to create these kind of miniature documents in here that you can automatically have pasted into any other app that you're working with so if you're writing out an email and you want this to show up you can simply search through for those particular things to show up. So like, for example, a while back, I used to do a lot of book jacket designs and I would find myself writing this email over and over again. But what I would be able to do is if I was within my document, rather than starting and typing out this whole message, I could just jump on up to rocket typist. There you go. And it would pop out the entire text right there uh, with just a few clicks. One of the other things that was really great and useful about Rocket Typist as well, let's go ahead and pop that back open again. One of the great things as well is that you can actually pop in here a whole bunch of variables. So when you first uh, hit the command to activate that particular snippet, what it would do is it would ask you or prompt you for a particular field and then it would populate those particular fields across the entire document that you're working on. So like for example, if you have something that includes the date, you'll see here that it's going to auto populate in the date. So if you find yourself typing the date over and over again, you can have it do that for you. Then you can also create for yourself a a list of options. So for example, if you've got sir or madam, if you want to start your email that way, you can uh, have it expand and then pick which option you want to appear in that particular instance of that copy and paste. This is also a great way to work out your email signature if you're working in an app or some software that doesn't allow you to save one in the app. You can also do things like smiley. So if there's an emoji that you find yourself using over and over again, you don't want to really scroll through the emoji menu, you can do that. And then you can once again do things like text fields. This has become for me an endlessly useful way for me not only to write out emails but also some of my code. So I know you're probably you may not be a coder but just so you can kind of see how this works let me show you how I actually use this on a pretty regular basis. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my code editor really quick and here's a project that I'm currently working on. And one of the things that we typically do uh, you know in my WordPress projects is I write things called queries which is what kind of indexes the database to display content. I'm not going to get into all the kind of nerdy stuff, 
But all I do to write one of these more complicated things is I just go ahead and type WP underscore query hit spacebar. Then I need to fill out an option here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill out, let's say I'm making a news post type, hit done. And then you'll see that it actually fills that whole piece in. This whole thing was just auto generated and it has the news in that place across this entire piece. Now what you notice there is that only by pressing the space key did it activate that. I didn't open up any menus up here or anything like that. So what you're able to do after you've created one of these documents is that if you want to, you can go up here. Let's go ahead and just minimize this for a second. You can go up here and type out what you want to find or in our snippet editor, you can go here, hit uh, this little edit option and you can create what's called an abbreviation. And so an abbreviation is going to allow you to pick a string or some sort of hotkey combination or some letters that you want to uh, include. And then what you do is under rocket typist preferences, under abbreviations, you can actually pick right here what delimiter, delimiter key you're gonna use. So you can hit space, you can hit return, you can hit tab, whichever one you want to do. So let's see that one more time. All I have to do is I type in WP underscore query space, type in what I want this to be. So let's say once again, articles, and it's gonna fill in all that information for me. And that's, it did everything for me. So again, there's a lot of uses, a lot of power in there for what you can use this for. So here's another one that I use a lot. I do a lot of placeholder text. So again, all I have to do is hit space and it fills this whole thing with placeholder text. One of the other things that I alluded to previously as well is that you can create a, a bunch of folders for the different types of things that you want to uh, kind of categorize your snippets with. You can right click and you can uh, adjust the settings in here. You can have shortcuts that are specific to a folder. And what's really cool as well is you can actually go in here, like if you're creating a snippet that's uh, causing conflicts or problems with the particular app that you're working in, you can actually go in here to a specific folder and say all of the snippets within this folder uh, will not apply in these applications. So you can say only these applications or all of these applications except, and so you can include or exclude specific applications in which uh, Rocket Typist is actually working. So it's clean, it's simple, and it's powerful. Plus the thing I really like about it is that it connects with your iCloud account. So if you got multiple Macs like I do, it's one of those things where you can sync across those devices without having to work worry about setting each of these up individually. Um, on each Mac that you create. Then one of the other things that's really handy as well is if you're working in a particular, if you're creating a really crazy form or something with a ton of variables, they've got this little editor in here so you can actually see all the text fields that you're working in so that you can quickly and globally edit all of those particular pieces. Then you can also uh, differentiate between text fields as and drop down fields as well. Then the last thing that you'd want to be aware of is this nice little magic wand icon up here, which is going to allow you to pick which specific uh, type of placeholder that you want to include. So you can uh, include an entire separate snippet. So if you want a snippet within a snippet, you can do that. Where the cursor shows up, drop down field, date and time, clipboard content, you can have all of those things included here. So for example, if we're looking at my coding example, I've got it so that the cursor shows up right here. So I'm ready to actually start typing immediately after I expand that. So I can actually show that to you one more time. So if I go WP query space, enter, then I can just go ahead and start typing. I don't know why that popped in the way, but then I could just go ahead and start typing my code. So it's a really fast, once you've got these little snippets created, it's one of those things that can start to save you a lot of time. Okay, so I know today was a shorter video, but I just wanna take the opportunity from time to time just to show you some of the little tricks or tools or apps that I'm using to save me time or to just make it easier to create a business on the web. So as always, if you found this video useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.